In this lesson, we will learn how to test for the presence of water. There are two main tests for the presence of water. Note that these tests do not confirm the purity of water, only its presence. The first test involves the usage of anhydrous copper II sulfate, which is an off-white solid. The term anhydrous means without water. In the presence of water, anhydrous copper II sulfate becomes hydrated copper II sulfate, which is bright blue. The term hydrated means with water. Another method to test for water is by using cobalt II chloride paper, which turns from light blue to pink in the presence of water. The same concept seen in the copper II sulfate test applies to the cobalt II chloride test. The anhydrous form of cobalt II chloride is light blue, whereas the hydrated form is pink. Did you know that cobalt II chloride has been used as invisible ink? How do you think this is possible, keeping in mind what you already know about it? Let's pause the lesson to think about it and press play when you are done. A dilute aqueous solution of cobalt II chloride would be very light pink. When written on paper, it will not show, hence the writing is invisible. Heating the paper will dehydrate the cobalt II chloride, turning it blue. This has been used throughout history to relay secret messages. In summary, Anhydrous copper II sulfate and cobalt II chloride can be used to detect the presence of water. The color changes observed are off-white to bright blue for copper II sulfate and light blue to pink for cobalt II chloride.